if you've somehow missed the memo, Region Rovers is returning on Football Manager 2019. And I thought today we'd take a trip down memory lane and look back at that first series on Football Manager 2017. Although for a lot of you, of course, you didn't actually watch that first series because I think when the series ended in July 2017, I had about 30,000 subscribers and now... I'm on 45,000 subscribers, so thank you for the support since then. A lot of people have joined this year because of all the experiments I did during the World Cup, so hello. Some of you have gone back and watched that first series for the first time, which is just incredible. Thank you. I really hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of people that have joined my Region Rovers Discord and have praised me for that first series, so it's really, really lovely to hear, and it's great to know that people are either re-watching it or watching it for the first time. But FM19, I'm so excited. It's going to be... It's going to be big. I hope so. I hope it's going to be amazing. I've, I've put quite a bit of pressure on myself to make this series really good. And it's going to be really hard to top some of the amazing moments from that first series. But we're going to give it our best shot. Now, this video, as you gathered from the title, I'm going to show you my top five moments from that first series. I'm going to go through in chronological order. Basically, it means that some of you that didn't actually watch that first series can get a picture of what it was all about. First of all, though, let's have a look at classic introduction. So of course that was from when we'd reached the English Premier League. It was a long old journey. It's going to be the same for Series 2. I want to take Region Rovers all the way to the top. I'd love to win Champions Leagues with them. But yes, it's going to be a long journey. And for this first series, it was a real struggle in the first few seasons. In the first three seasons, we were close to relegation, particularly the first season. I'm going to show you the top moment from the series in a second. In fact, it's probably the top moment from my channel. I don't think I, I can ever beat that moment. So for, for context, for those of you that don't know about Regen Rovers, what it's all about is I'm only allowed to use Regen or New Gen players, whatever you want to call it. Those fake young players that appear on the game to replenish the, the, the player numbers, I suppose, with players retiring, of course, and also staff members as well. Every, everyone was regens at the club, apart from myself, apart from a few background people like owners, directors and that sort of thing. But all the staff members, all the players were regens and nugens. And of course, at the start of the game, they start off as 16, 17-year-olds. So we had a really young squad for those first few seasons. It became easier over the time, but it was a right old struggle in that first season. Let's just see the introduction to the, the, the legend of the series, the biggest legend of the series. And my only player that can actually play up front, Jack Young, is going to be playing as a shadow striker for me. 11 finish it. That could be critical this season. The famous Sir Jack Young, who was a hero, a legend of that first series. He's going to be heavily involved in the second series as well. He's actually going to be the owner of Regen Rovers in Series 2. And I'll let you know the backstory of that at a later date. But yeah, that first se se season was a real struggle and we only had one striker, Jack Young. He was the only player I could find that would play up front. He was actually a shadow striker. We played a strikerless formation to start with and we developed over time into having a striker up front, front when Jack Young was used to playing as an out-and-out -out striker. He was phenomenal on and off throughout the series and he's going to be involved in some of these top five moments. But the first top five moment, it kind of involves him, but he wasn't the player that scored the goal. Now, we really struggled in that first season because we had a load of 16-year-olds that was playing in the National League South. The quality of the players was well below the rest of the division. But somehow we went into the last episode of that first season with a chance of staying up. I think we drew the first three games of that episode. Yes, today is make or break time for Regen Rovers. We've got four games to go in the Vanarama National League South. And we are four points off safety. With a game in hand though, as you can see there. So we're four points behind Welling. If we win today, we're one point behind Welling. It's going to be incredibly tough. But I have every faith in myself and in the team to save this. So after drawing the first three games of that episode, we needed a win in that last game to stay up and save the series. And this happened. What's happened? There's no football. I can't see what's going on. Look, there's no ball. That's really weird. How do I, what? What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> this has made it even more tense for me. There's some sort of weird glitch has happened. Look, he's kicking nothing. Great. Well, this is just brilliant, isn't it? How how much worse can this get? 
Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for the final 10 minutes, possibly, of the original Regen Rovers. Oh, the ball's back. That was really weird. 15 seconds to go. 15 seconds. Gordon, Sheriff, Mills, Young, TJ. Go! In <laughs> my freaking days! Dr. Jones! That is absolutely astonishing. We have saved Regen Rovers with literally the last kick of the game. The game's that the game has been trolling me, surely. For that to happen. And it, how has that happened? Incredible, incredible, insane moment. The greatest moment on my channel ever. I think the Dr. Jones goal is just the best. The best moment ever on my channel. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to top that. I don't think it's possible to top that. Last kick of the game. Regen Rovers is saved. Not just the club, the series. Because I didn't have any leagues loaded below the National League South. If we'd been relegated, I'd have been sacked. That would have been the end. Maybe Regen Rovers wouldn't have continued. Perhaps we wouldn't be coming up for a second series. If it wasn't for that goal. So it was so important. However, we were close to relegation in the second and the third season as well. But we survived just about. It wasn't quite so close as that, but we survived in the last couple games. Fourth season, we were promoted to the National League Premier, though. And that promotion to the National League Premier was my second top moment of the series. Here you go. Today could possibly be the biggest episode of the series so far. We actually have the chance of winning the Vanarama National League South today. That's it, 3-0 win. That was comfortable, surprisingly comfortable. We've won a corner early on. Miller whips it across, and it's in the back of the net from Storrow, his 15th goal of the season. Here we are. Can we get a second? We can. It's a beautiful strike from Storrow. He's really turned it back on the last few games. <sighs> Thank you, Miles Jacobson. <sighs> 74 points. A win. We haven't won the title, but we're one step closer. We've won three in a row today. Ho, 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 ho. Here's Stora playing it through to Orford. What's he going to do? It's Orford into Marlowe. Who saw? Oh, what a strike from Marlowe. Here's Barry. Can't play that through. Let's just go counter for the last few minutes. As Rendell scores, it's 1 1. It doesn't matter though. Who cares? We're winning the league. We're champions! We have been promoted to the Vanarama National League Premier. What an achievement from Regen Rovers. I think that was an especially emotional moment because of the struggle in the first three series and we finally managed to get promoted. I thought it was going to get stuck for ages, but we got promoted. So we move on to the third top moment of the series, but is actually my the second greatest moment in my opinion. Not just of the series, but of my channel. It really was insane. Jack Young was scoring goals on and off for us. We had other heroes coming in, other players, short-term players. Some some players were with, with us for the long term. Jack Young was there throughout, and he scored important goals for us. I think he was the second top goal scorer in the club history after Spencer Drury, who came into the team around about the fourth season, I think, off the top of my head. can't quite remember. But in the National League... We, I think it was the second time of asking, we got into the playoff final. Now at this point, Jack Young was struggling. Struggling for form, but it also picked up a severe injury. A couple bad injuries throughout his career actually, but this one was particularly bad. He'd only scored one goal prior to the, the playoff final. And then this crazy game happened. It's quite a long, quite a long video this, because we had problems in, in the first attempt at the playoff final. And then a magical moment happened at the very end. Enjoy. This is it. The Vanarama National League playoff final. Regen Rovers versus Barrow. Now then, I think I'm going to go with the same team that took part in the playoff semi-final. The question is, do I put Jack Young in just for nostalgia? Jack Young instead of Chris Scott? Jack Young instead of Miguel? That's that's probably the stupid nostalgic thing to do, but a lot of you would want that. A lot of you want Dr. Jones on the bloody bench, don't you? I don't think I can do it. I think I have to have Chris Scott. Although he's, he hasn't scored for a while and his, his morale is poor. In the under-23s, he's not really played this season whereas uh, Jack Young he's going downhill though but his under 23 record is decent his average rating is very good 
screw it. We're putting Jack Gale on the bench and play it into Marlowe. Lovely ball out wide to Stuart Warren. Great ball through to, to Drury. And oh, it's a goal from Lee Orford. He hasn't scored for ages, but finally... I don't know who that was clearing, but Palmer has got the pace here to run onto it. Can he cross it in or is he going to shoot? He's put a ball into Drury. Drury scores with 2 nil up. Charge forwards and get a goal back. It's 2-1. It's been a cracking game so far for the neutrals. Oh, no. No. Now the game's decided to break. What's going on? What? Literally, it's decided to... What? I can't press play. I just can't make it work. It's so simply I'm gonna to have to restart this match. Area. Oh, this is this could be a goal. Palmer scores! It's a real cock up for them at the back. Here's Woodman. Uh oh, it's one one. It's a brilliant finish from there. Spencer Drury hasn't scored in this game. We're doing it. We're bringing on Jack Young. It's going to extra time again though. Oh no he is. There's no there's no player coming on. They're down to ten men. We can take advantage of this. Dibber is completely off his feet, but he's going to have to keep fighting for us. And I'm going to make the wingbacks attack. Whip the balls in. Let's exploit the flanks instead. No, we can't wait. No, we're going route one. We're going bloody route one. Let's let's do that. Oh, no, I, sh I could go overload, but it's just so much of a risk. Is it worth taking? I don't think so. Maybe penalties will be our saviour. We've got Marlow. Oh, Marlow's come off. No, we don't have Marlow. And Grant War, our second best penalty taker, is on the bench. Why didn't I think of this? Here's Chris Holmes. Back to Sibs Ellis. There's 40 seconds left of this playoff final. Sibs Ellis into Palmer. Out wide to Tim Green. Put a ball in, Tim Green. No, that's the end. Or is this an opportunity for them? No, maybe there's still time. Four, 20 seconds. Stick the ball into the back. But Palmer. Dipper. Miguel. Get the ball in the box. Oh, Jack! Yeah! <laughs> I, I, I cannot believe that. <laughs> what? This game is just ridiculous. It's like it's got a brain of its own. It knows. How? How is this? How has that happened? Jack Young has put us in the bloody football league. That is absolutely ridiculous. Only a second goal of the season. Jack Young with the most crucial goal in the club's history. How is that possible? I still don't know how it's possible. Two incredible, very similar moments in one series, in one save. That Dr. Jones goal, that Jack Young goal. Just, it, it was special and... I now realise, well, I realised before, but looking back and watching all these videos again, it's made me remember how much I loved this save and this this series, but why you loved it as well. And I really hope I can replicate that that raw emotion that we had for this club. It's, it's going to be a different club. I just need to, to let you know or remind you that I do have some merchandise with the new logo on already. This T-shirt currently... 30% off. There's a link in the description below, but you can also buy actual proper Regen Rovers football shirts. It'd be marvellous if we can get loads of people wearing these shirts ahead of the, the second series. It does take four to six weeks for the, the football shirts to arrive. I think it's not so long for these. I think it's about a week or two, depending on where you live. Uh, but yeah, I haven't received the football shirts yet. I'm hoping I receive them in time for the start of the second series, but I want to get loads of people involved in the series just like I did previously you know I want this to be a community series you guys getting involved lots of fan corners I've got the region rovers discord all the links in the description below to these things where you can discuss region rovers as well so yeah anyway we're moving on to the fourth top moment and we we got promoted quite quickly actually after this point it was it was a struggle to get out non league but when we became a professional club that's my phone going off as usual it became easier we were able to, to have fully professional players. Jack Young was still involved. People like, do you remember Dup, the, the trio? Spencer Drury, Larry Udder, Craig Farmer. That strike trio was uh, insane at one point. We had players coming and going. Patrick Dibber was there throughout as well. He became a bit of a club legend. Lisa Zellis in goal. Ah, oh, there, there were some fantastic players. But we got promoted to the championship. Jack Young didn't score in League One. I, I didn't play him a lot. I, but 
people were a little bit disappointed in that he wasn't playing. Some people were accepting of the fact that he just he just wasn't good enough at that level. But my fourth the top moment, and it's one of my favourites, uh, was this goal. What do I do? It's not been Spencer Drury's day. It's so tempting to bring on Jack Young. It's it's written in the stars, isn't it? It's written in the stars, surely. Let's pump it. Get stuck in. Go for the mixed crosses rather than whipped. Okay, here's Bakuna. We might we might even get a goal before. Oh no, Lorenzini's offside. We're going to go overload as well. Tell the team to to push forwards desperately for a goal. Six minutes to go. Free kick. Here's Jack Young on the edge of the ball. What's a goal? What? That is absolutely unbelievable from Jack Young. He just has... What? He's just battered it in. How has he done that? I don't understand Football Manager anymore. I've still got it on overload, which is... I just was too shocked. They might score here, but I don't care, because Jack Young's just scored one of the greatest goals we've ever seen, if not the greatest goal. That goal basically got us into the playoffs that season. Unfortunately, we went on to lose the, the playoff final that year, but we did get promoted. We got promoted to the Premier League, and for the last couple of the seasons of the series, uh, we were aiming to try and push on and make Region Rovers one of the best clubs in England and in Europe and in the world. Unfortunately, that never happened because life got in the way for me. I, I ended up getting wrapped up in buying a house with my wife, which was wonderful, but unfortunately distracted me from Region Rovers. I kind of lost the love for Football Manager a bit as well, which was a, which was a great shame. I had a, had a bit of a break uh, before FM18 came out. So it's kind of unfinished business going into the second series. I want to go the full distance. I want the, the series to go the full si FM19 cycle. That's the aim. We'll see what happens. Things do get in the way. Life gets in the way sometimes. Anyway, so the, the fifth and final top moment of today's video is winning the League Cup final. And it was comfortable as well. It's our first ever major final in the series. It's the, the League Cup. This is the 11 that could become famous. Nigel, good ball into Kevin Savage, who wants to take his opportunity. Repay me. Oh, it's an own goal! But here come Arsenal looking for the equaliser. Stephen Dean does well. It's now into the path of Kevin Savage again, charging forwards with pace. It's into the pig. Pigliacelli plays it out wide to Stephen Dean. What's he going to do? It's into Ali, who's having to fill the big boots of Short. And oh, what a goal from Pigliacelli. We are 2 0 up. It's his 24th goal of the season. He's level with Sam Hunt. And that is a beautiful strike. 14 minutes to go. Here's Martinez. Through to Savage. What's he going to do? He's played it into Sam Hunt, who's dangerous. Good ball out wide to, to Kelly, who does really well, actually. Good ball in. And, oh, Hunt! He's only just come on the pitch. And he's made it 3-0. This is a convincing victory. That's his 25th goal of the season as well. Okay, heads, it's Jack Young. Tails, it's Spencer Drury. You just have to trust me on this. It's heads, it's Jack Young then. Okay. <laughs> He has the chance to score in a League Cup final. There we go. We are champions. We have won the League Cup. So that was the last top moment of Regen Rovers Series 1. We won the League Cup final. My only major trophy, really, of the series. We did actually get through to the FA Cup final in that last episode as well, but lost against Manchester United, unfortunately. I guess that's just a fact of life. Sometimes stories end with a bit of a disappointing ending. Although overall, I think it was very positive. That last season, winning a trophy, did very well in the league. We just weren't quite strong enough to beat Man United. I hope you've enjoyed looking back, reminiscing about Series 1 of Region Rovers. Some of you, this is completely new because you've joined the channel since then. So I hope you've enjoyed finding out about Region Rovers as well. Bit of a, a ramble from me, but I just wanted to tell you the story of Region Rovers with a few top moments thrown in there as well. I'm so looking forward to Series 2. I will release more details about it over the next few weeks. It will be released after the full release of Football Manager 2019 because I am going to use the pre-game editor to create Region Rovers so we have more control over the club from the start rather than using the Creator Club function and it was very flimsy and I couldn't put my own graphics in. Uh, it, was, it wasn't great. So unless they've updated Creator Club mode on FM19, but I think I want to use the editor. I want to put Jack Young as the owner and a few directors as well. And of course, those of you that have pledged to my Patreon, some of those tiers, you'll be a director of the club. Some of you have the option of having players named off due after the first season, after the first youth intake. So go and check out my Patreon if you want to get involved in that and be a part 
an actual part of the series. Uh, thank you for your support. But we'll end it there. All the links to t-shirts, Region Rovers Discord, my Twitter, etc. They're all in the description below. I'll see you very soon. <laughs>